Hey everyone, uh, Jordan from My Crypto here, back with another Dark Forest tutorial. Um, one of the huge new additions to V0.5 of Dark Forest is the plugins functionality. Uh, this kind of allows for developers to create new tools and quality of life improvements that they can package up to into a nice plugin and give to others to use. And then as a user, you can take the plugin code, import it into your game, and then use all these new tools that, that make life so much easier. Uh, it makes traversing the dark forest much brighter. <laughs> um, so as a quick for, forward to this, um, these plugins are all JavaScript code. And um, you know, it's really, it's not safe to be using code that you can't audit yourself or uh, you don't know what it's doing. Um, usually it's, it's highly uh, recommended that you don't ever import JavaScript code into anything, especially in the cryptocurrency industry. However, um, if you do your own research, look at the code yourself, understand what the code's doing, and then make an educated decision to, to use it, um, you can probably feel rel relatively safe doing so, but it's on you. So if you screw up, if you lose your account, if you lose your private key, if you lose your X die, that's on you. Uh, I don't recommend using unaudited code. I don't recommend using code that's audited regardless because there's so many rug pulls in this space. Uh, this tutorial is just showing you how to install these plugins and everything moving forward is at your own risk. <clears throat> so scary forward aside, I use all these plugins I understand that I could lose my account. I could lose all my X die. I have like 50 X die on this account. Um, and it's a risk that I'm okay taking personally. So to access your plugins in the game, you click this little plug icon, very appropriate. When you're beginning the game for the first time, you will not have this big list of plugins. There's like one or two default plugins that are pretty basic. They're not very in depth, um, but that's fine. And these are all plugins that I've added. Now, the wonderful community devs we have, like Blaine and Jacob and some others in the Discord channel, um, they have made plugins available for use. And there is a front end at plugins.zkga.me, which is just the game URL with plugins dot appended to the front. So if you go here, you'll see a list of plugins that have been, you know, worked on a bit, um, improved and completed essentially, and they're available for, for public use. Now, um, all of these are useful in their own right. And I have used literally every single one of these tools at some point. Uh, the background music one is just for fun. Um, the Remote Explorer helps you increase your hash power a lot, but that's a whole rabbit hole of technicalities to figure out that I can't get into right now. Um, but to install a plugin, what you'll do is you'll go to this, you'll find a plugin that looks interesting to you, like um, Gift Planet. That sounds nice, right? So what you'll do is you click on that, it opens GitHub, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this and just copy all this code. I have no idea what this code's doing. You don't either. So you should not be doing this. And this is just an example. So you copy that code, control C, you go back to your dark forest game tab. You click add plugin, give it a name, gift planet. And then you go in here and then you control a to highlight all this default text. And then you delete it and paste in the code from the GitHub page. When you do that, you click save. Now you can edit the code by clicking the edit button. You can delete the plugin by clicking the delete button. And then you can run the plugin and do whatever the plugin's supposed to do. And that is how you find and install a plugin for Dark Forest. Best of luck out there. <laughs> 